I wanted to do a quick video today about Yantra, which is sacred geometry, because this is something a lot of my clients are asking me about. They do use it. I do give it to my clients, Yantra and Mantra, which is chanting. And the reason that I do this is because manifestation always comes down to the same thing. Can you shift your frequency to match the frequency of your desire? And can you hold it there until you have your desire in the 3D, until you physically have what it is that you're trying to manifest? Where sacred geometry and where chanting come into play here is that these things help you shift your frequency, shift your vibration. So when you have sacred geometrical patterns, each of them is associated with sound, which is vibration. Same thing with chanting, it's associated with sound. All of these sounds hold specific frequencies. For example, frequency of abundance, the frequency of wisdom, frequency of courage. So whatever frequency you need to cultivate to manifest your desire, you can do that by meditating on sacred geometry or chanting. But the intent of it is still the exact same thing. So these things can be done, but not in isolation. You can try it in isolation. It would take you a very long time. But when you do this in conjunction with shifting your mindset, with taking action, with actually paying attention to what your blocks are and releasing resistance, it can aid you in that process.